This video talks about B plus trees as indexes into database tables that reside on disk. The video assumes you've watched earlier videos on B plus tree basics. The examples we've used in earlier videos use B plus trees of order 2, which can hold between 2 and 4 keys with up to 5 children. In reality, B plus trees of order 50 with up to 100 entries and 101 children would be more common. You can verify statements 1 through 3 later, but skipping down to 4, recognize that a B plus tree with a branching factor of 100, about 101 children, means that even at depth 2, many, many entries, more than a million in this example, can be found at the leaves, and a key can be looked up among the large number of keys by just following two or three pointers. Pause the video to answer these questions and restart when you're ready. Verify that you understand these answers, which were also presented on an earlier slide. It's helpful to compare the performance of a B plus tree, say of order 50, with a balanced binary search tree. A lower bound on the number of pointers that must be followed when looking up an item among n items is log base 100n. In contrast, for a balanced binary search tree, a lower bound on the number of pointers that must be followed is log base 2n. If n is 1 million, we've seen that at least two pointers must be followed in a B plus tree of order 50, and probably at most three pointers in such a case. You can verify this uppercase if you want to. Again, if n is 1 million, then about 20 pointers must be followed in a balanced binary search tree, since log base 2 1 million is about 20. So it looks like a big win for the B plus tree, but let's take a closer look. Each B plus tree node must be searched for the child pointer that corresponds to the key that we are looking up. And that search of each node might well be a binary search. At the bottom of the slide, I summarize the comparison between a B plus tree and a binary search tree. Each node of a binary search tree requires very little work to decide on the correct child pointer to take, either right or left. But there are relatively many pointers to be followed in a binary search tree. In contrast, a B plus tree requires very few pointers to be followed, but there is a lot of work, relatively speaking, at each node. All said, if all steps are about equivalent in terms of cost, where a step can be following a pointer or computing a midpoint of an interval and jumping to it, B plus trees and binary search trees have about the same asymptotic cost. However, B plus trees are a big win in database applications because databases reside on disk. And following a pointer corresponds to a disk access, which is a very expensive operation compared to main memory access. The time expense of disk access stems from the mechanical operations of disk rotation and read-write head seeking. So we want to minimize disk accesses, and therefore we want to minimize following pointers to information on disk. Here we see how a B plus tree indexes information on disk. The leaves of the B plus tree point at database records on disk. Each disk address contains a block or page identifier, roughly the same unit of information, but called a block if on disk and a page if in main memory. When a record is needed, the block on which it is thought to reside is read from disk to a main memory page buffer. Then the record within the page is found through the slot number, which is a second component of a B plus tree leaf index. Not only are tables of a database stored on disk, but the indexes into these tables are also stored on disk. Thus, the internal node highlighted in green is stored on disk too, as is any B plus tree node, except the root, which would usually be stored in main memory. At the bottom, I give you some idea of units. A block is a sizable chunk of memory, perhaps 2 to the 12th bytes or more depending on disk technology. Suppose each index requires 2 to the 3rd bytes, then we could store up to 2 to the 9th indices on each block. Thus a B plus tree of order 2 to the 8th would allow these 2 to the 9th indices to be stored on one node if the node is equivalent to a block. In general, the order of a B plus tree node may be chosen so a node fits snugly onto one block. Note that I've grayed out the size of a tuple of the table indexed by the B plus tree. The size of the tuple would constrain the number of table entries that fit on a block, 
but it's irrelevant in determining the B plus tree order. The table itself isn't part of the B plus tree. Rather, the table is indexed by B plus tree leaves. Finally, let's look at this figure. It shows a table T at the center with one B plus tree index to the table based on attribute A, that's above, and a B plus index below based on attribute B. Suppose table T is a table of purchases by books by customers, and the index above is the attribute purchase date, and the index below is on book ISBN. The figure illustrates that there may be many indexes into a database table. Again, if this is a table of purchases indexed by purchase date above and ISBN below, we might have additional indexes still, perhaps by customer account number, for example. These multiple indices can greatly speed queries like that shown at the bottom. This is something we'll take a look at in greater detail in coming videos.